Hey day traders. So today I want to talk about does the supply and demand trading strategy that I teach actually work or not? So to jump right into it, let's just actually show you from kind of a whole week, I guess, if you can say from this past Monday all the way till this Monday. And if I zoom in, right? So this is typically how the strategy works on the five minute chart, which this is this on the thinkorswim platform. Uh, there's these five days. This was Monday here that I wrote down here. This is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then this is that current Monday all over again. So the past five plus days or so, you can clearly see that I have a lot of zones drawn all over the place and so on and so forth. But let me show you what exactly I did, why I did it, and how I did it. So putting it simply, right, I, I basically draw the zones on the five minute and then my entries and exits on the one minute. So if I zoom into just this past Monday as an example, right, so as you can notice, the market basically went down here, created a zone at the bottom because of these two candles, created a zone at the top because of these two candles. So this is our demand zone. This is the supply zone. Came down, basically perfectly tapped there, bounced up, perfectly tapped in this, bounced down, and it broke completely through. This is from one of my other previous videos because you can notice there's no zones here technically to capture it. So what this did is it ran down to do what's called a multi-day zone, which is basically... This is the demand zone, similar to this one, but it's just the zone came from a different day entirely. And as you can see, clearly tapped it, ran straight up. And so multiple trades here is a call here. There's a put here, beautiful call here to the upside. Doji candles telling you some information. There's a lot of stuff all over the place. It's just a matter of, can you see it or can you not? So this is one day for proof uh, that the supply and demand trading strategy works. Let's go to the next day, right? And this is all SPY, by the way. I only trade SPY. I don't do anything more, anything less. It's, keeps everything simple. I don't want to ch chase multiple trades and multiple tickers anyway. I don't want to use scanners and crap like that. I just want to trade one simple ticker. So let's jump into this day. This is Tuesday for this past week. And this is the day today, by the way. So I'm talking about the week of the 15th to the 19th. So very small zone here created for a very uh, small major demand zone comes up, creates this very kind of very clear green, red, green, red, these agreements between buyers and sellers. This bottoming effect here as well uh, comes up, creates a supply zone here, and then rushes down. Perfect example, right? So it basically, this is what it ended up doing. Created these initial three zones. It finally popped down, tapped here, came up, tapped here, went up, right? Came down, broke through this one, tapped this, went up, basically touched VWAP, continued to kind of hold it, if you will, before it started running downward. And then it just continued on. So one thing that's interesting about that is that that's just the morning, right? I mean, even if I drew out zones from here, you can see from this all over to the right, that's basically the same exact thing. This from just even like the perfect one, right, is power hour. If I drew this line all the way out to here, essentially, and I drew the 10 cent zone downward, you can see it perfectly captures the, the bottom piece there. All of this shows you the exact movement of where the chart's going. It's just you have to, again, know what to look at, when to look at, how to look at it. What I'd like to tell my students to take the VIP trading program, which is one-on-one -on -one coaching, is that let's say hypothetically you couldn't do the morning because you have, you're busy. There is literally the whole mid midday, intraday, or what some people do is more power hour. That's a play I did today that I'm going to get to pretty soon. But there's multiple trades all throughout this. And if you know how to draw the zones, which is on another video from mine, you can clearly see that on here. So let's go to another the next day. Whoops, let me go back, back to my cell. And so we did Monday, this is Tuesday. Let's go to Wednesday. Wednesday here, same thing. I still have some lines from across it, right? But same thing here, Dem supply zone down here, demand zone down here, have some circles from my entries potentially, and then rolled it on downward and excuse all the drawings for me giving other classes to other students. But it rushed down. This was a, a beautiful one that I ended up taking. I took the put from here and rode it downward. Right? It broke completely through this demand zone, which is fine by me because I'm doing a put. Right? <laughs> then it created this zone here, came up. Some of my other students basically came down, tapped inside of this, and rode up. And if you're thinking, well, I, I don't know, like, did this actually work? It seems like this is too good to be true. And then it came up here and did some other things. If you're thinking, well, maybe it's not true. Let me show you some... Current students example, right? So Tracy's a good example. So where was this? Because this was last week. So bear with me. Yep, here it is. And feel free to scroll through, it's fine. But this is literally last week, March 18th. 
March 18th towards the end of the week. So she's doing the same exact strategy that you're looking at here. Hey, Maurice, and you can pause this and read it. But long story short, made five grand, right? Just that single day on March 18th when we do get to that, she, on this day, on Thursday, she made $2,400 from using this exact strategy. So you may be thinking, well, it looks too simple. It's, there's no way this works. And, well, what about all the scanners? You're overcomplicating it. You're the only one overcomplicating it. If you're trying to trade all these different tickers and you're failing, trade one, right? Why are you trading? Well, unless you just love trading, you're literally wasting your time. And you can notice there's a little line up here, right? So if you notice, let's go back. So this is where we currently were. Let me zoom in to just this. This is, let me zoom out a little bit. It's fine, actually. Keep that here. So this line here, if I drew it over, so I drew this one over, and I can give you better visual representation of this. So this plus minus that is going to be 0.70. So there's, there's this supply zone that was towards the end of the day from literally the day we just looked at. Come over, 100% still respected, ride it on downward. That's it. This is a huge move. You may be thinking, well, it's only from 396.6 down to 395.2 only, quote unquote. For one, it's much larger than all these moves. But two, how much do you need? If you're buying one contract and it goes from here down to this, okay, that's fine. I understand that's not the largest move, but you earned a couple bucks, less than $50. That's fine. But it's not a, a volume, it's not a, a, a size game, it's a volume game. If you earn $20, let's say, as an example, on a move from this to that, or let's say you earn $5 from this to that from one simple contract, then that just means it's a volume game. You just need to buy 10 contracts. You need to buy 20 contracts, whatever it is. If you can be, it's just about you need to be right about the margin between the zones, not you need the biggest move that's a thousand percent gainer on a penny stock. You're wasting your time because you're chasing. This isn't chasing, this is patience and waiting. To get a play like this from this to that, you have to ignore all of this and wait. That's what I did. Wait and actually get rewarded. So that's that day, right? Let me auto zoom out. Let me go back to maximize sell. So we just went over this Wednesday. So Thursday here, let me zoom into this one. So you can see this one kind of consolidated to the right for a while and then a pretty big significant drop. Now, here's one that's interesting with this, right? So this was very choppy, if you will. There's potential trades here and there. I know some students took this, if I draw the rectangle out, and it took the, the put from, from here downward. That's fine, if you up in the way a little bit, but it took the play on downward. There's some calls here and there based off of just what you've purely seen, right? It, but if you notice, there's a zone up here never comes to touch this, but that's perfectly fine. So the great thing about this is that if I get my line tool, so from about on the left of this, it's all choppy. But all on the right, there's big moves on this five-minute chart. So now it becomes the chance to say, okay, where is this potential entry? And this is one of them I'll show you that, that I did not make as much money as I should have. And the reason why is if you notice, so this was that, uh, that supply zone came over still relevant and it came down basically to broke through it came back up to tap it and then rushed down and let me show you how perfect it was so let me go back and let's see what day that is actually let's see if we can find that guy scoot over a bit yep it's right here maximize sell to this this is that green rectangle right so it was here it broke through broke through so on and so forth look what it did it came down Broke out, broke through, I mean, came up to tap it. And let me zoom in for you, cause especially if you don't believe me again, because, right, I'm trying to prove this to you. <laughs> trying to help you out, technically. Came up through, broke it, came back up, retested it perfectly, ran down, right? Came up, tried to touch it in reverse, didn't exactly get a good reversal, came up again, broke straight through, came up, tapped it, reversed perfectly, and then ran down. This move, even though it looks small, I'm just zoomed in. Look on the right side. It's from, what, 395.62 all the way down to 395.06. And if you want to know how much I made, I basically buy 100 contracts. So for this, it's about uh, 1000 sorry, about $12,000 of contracts that I buy it. And from this move to that, of buying 100 contracts, you can imagine how much I made. That's perfectly fine. But as you notice, I sold way too early. I sold because it's a doji candle here. Sometimes the doji candle shows kind of a reversal or there's it almost acts like it's a zone because it's trying to say that, hey, it may be reversing at this point, but it's not always right, right? It's a perfect example is that it was correct here, right? It came, it was coming down, it did come back upward, 
then it started going down again. So sometimes the Doji candle gives you that some valid information. This gave me valid information to say it did come up a bit, but as you can see, it continued running down regardless. But I'm perfectly fine with this move here. And in all honesty, for one, there is the move, like I mentioned here, there's the move here, just visually looking at it, right? And then there were so many other plays here and then looking at it at this point, right? It came up, tapped this line, which is from a zone earlier, and then rushed back downward. So that's that. And this is the one minute chart. But let me go back to the five minute chart in case you're still like, well, I don't know if this stuff works. You just show me three perfect days. Okay, so this is where we were. Let's go to, that was Thursday. So what are we, four days in a row. And this is Friday here. Friday, I didn't get a chance to trade. I was going to go get my COVID shot. <laughs> I think I have proof. <laughs> this is my calendar, right? Uh, and this is literally my calendar for that Friday, the 19th. Doctor's appointment, COVID shot number one. And I had some, some coaching calls basically here. And I obviously block out, what is this? Well, dinner here. <laughs> so you can see I, dinner's a pretty important thing to me. I don't want anyone to block me at dinner time. Of course, block so I can be done working. But regardless, right? So... That's why there's no zones here. But two, I wish I would have traded this day. It's very perfect, if you will, right? Just if we draw it out together, for one, there's the that line at the very bottom. When Let's go ahead and create the, the demand zone. The demand zones are about 10 cents, right? So it's 387.53 plus 10 cents. It's going to be 63, give or take. So came up, bounce, came up, bounce, same thing. Literally look how close this one is. Literally look at this. This is this one was probably too easy of a day in all honesty. Well, then get your zone tool to draw it here. Plus this sense, about right there. So it came up, bounced perfectly, ran on up. That's just that. I don't even have to draw anything else. There were some other ones. I, mean, I guess you can technically, yeah, basically here as well. So the top piece here, and if you notice, it doesn't have to necessarily be all of them. You can draw them if you want to. This is a supply zone. You can draw them if you want to, but you don't have to draw everything just drawing zones to draw zones. Because at that point, you're just being a kindergarten, having fun drawing stuff. But you can see this captured it perfectly. It ran up, bounced off, came back up. Uh, let's see what happened over here. This perfectly played off of that for a while, looks like it. I'm not going to draw the rectangle, but I'll keep the line there. Boom, boom, boom. Came up. This still continued, actually, almost until the end of the day. It's really not that hard. I'm just drawing lines, drawing rectangles. And let's see. So that was that day. Didn't get to trade it, but that was then. That was this day down here. So here's today. And here's a perfect example. You're like, well, that was maybe that was just everything that's a perfect day, right? That's fine. So this one's running straight up. I'm sure you've been imagining those. You're like, well, what about the days when it's running straight up? That's fine. There's potential trade still, right? So there's the supply, this uh, red candle, green candle, right? Comes up. It's got retested. No matter what, they're always retested at some point in time. Same thing here. If I drew the line out, still retested. The trade I took, if you notice, it's the trade over here. There's a, the finally the top part. I like to play power hour plays sometimes, especially if it's all uptrending and I'm busy. So the last hour is power hour. So it ends at about this time, 15 o'clock military time. So at about this time on the right side of this blue line is where I sometimes come back and potentially take a trade. So if you notice, Zone, supply zone created up here, came down, tapped in it, ran down. Basically almost ended at VWAP essentially. <laughs> so for anyone that's thinking, oh, I don't I don't know if this stuff works, I don't know if I should get any kind of coaching, I don't know if I if I need to pour in some money into this to maybe get, see if this can work for me. This is your proof right here. This is literally the past five days. If you want more proof, feel free to check out any of my other YouTube videos. But that's all you really need necessarily, right? And then here's what I want you to do. From based off of this alone, I have one homework assignment from you. Based off of this alone and what the other videos I've seen on YouTube, if you're thinking you're still not fully convinced from these five plus examples, if this works, here's what I want you to do. Go into your own trading platform. Open up any random day. On here, you can use the on-demand platform. Go back and you can pick any random day all the way back to 2017 plus further, depending on when you're looking at this. If none of these day, it, pick any day, go back September, I don't know, 18th example. Let it load, try to draw the zones. If you can't, if you draw these zones and it doesn't work, let me know. I don't know, I'll give you $500.
hypothetically, right? Or more than like, you know, let's let's put it out there. Let's keep this out there. If you go to any day, draw these zones, and there's no zones to draw, including multi-day zones, then I will personally give you $500 in PayPal because that's how confident that I know this stuff works and that it's I've seen students have the results perfectly like Tracy as an example. So give it a shot. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns on YouTube, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know. I'm here to help out because I know this stuff works and I know this can change lives because it has with the people that I've done the one-on-one -on -one coaching for. So looking forward to it and I'll see you in the next video.